Coming up on the Angus Report, how genomic technology is driving quality and adding value in the beef business. USDA announces steps toward an innovative market news program. Effective animal identification is critical to improving performance. The World Livestock Auctioneer Championship is just around the corner, and we learn what's in store for this year's competition, and a visit with cowboy comedian Baxter Black. This is The Angus Report. Hello and welcome to The Angus Report. I'm Bob Cervera. And I'm Jenna McCrell, and this week for Crystal Albers. Our top news this week. The American Angus Association and Angus Genetics Incorporated continue to drive the science of genetic selection in the beef cattle business. Earlier this spring, AGI released its fifth calibration of genomic-enhanced expected progeny differences, allowing producers to make more accurate genetic decisions than ever and add more value at different levels of the supply chain. We started genomically enhanced testing in 2010. Uh, it took us until December of, of 2014 to do 100,000 tests total, right? We, we conducted or completed our second 100,000 tests, though, in just 13 months, in January of of 2016, right? So you can see the, the marketplace is asking for it. Bull buyers want genomically enhanced tested bulls. Um, I think everybody pretty much agrees with that. It, it shows a commitment by our members to new technology. It shows the fact that there's a demand in the marketplace for it as well. And our members are responding. And that's, that's really encouraging from our perspective. AGI is working with scientists at Zoetis to update the GeneMax family of tests with some updates and new features expected for release midsummer. For more than a century, USDA Market News has provided producers with timely, unbiased data from across the country. Administered by USDA's Agricultural Marketing Service, that information serves as the lifeline for America's agricultural economy. And now Market News is deploying the Market Analysis and Reporting Services, or MARS. MARS will help Market News Services to ensure that farmers and ranchers know they're getting a fair price. USDA Market Supervisor Jody Pitcock tells us more. And this interface will allow us to get that information out at, in a more timely manner, but it'll show more transparency in the market as we move forward. And then I will be able to sit in my office and see what's going on at Joplin, Missouri with their feeder cattle on the same day. Or I could be anywhere in the country and if I want to know what cattle's trading for in Oklahoma City, I can pull it up and I can get a 10-minute delay, just like you do at the CME. Feeder cattle is the first commodity being reported by Mars, which will eventually include more than 600 commodity market updates in real time. Growing consumer trends against genetically modified organisms, or GMOs, have spurred many product manufacturers to label food items as GMO-free. Recent research by the National Academies of Science reveals that GMOs are, in fact, not harmful to human health. A team of scholars spent two years examining more than 900 studies and released their findings in the comprehensive report, which found no direct correlation of consuming genetically modified products with an increased risk of cancer, obesity, kidney disease, autism, or allergies. The study also found that feedling livestock GM crops pose no risk to the animals or consumers. Read more about the research online. Proper animal identification is key to managing performance data and improving genetics within the cow herd, and improving technology makes that process easier on the ranch. Scott Holt with Allflex shares the latest trends in livestock identification, from visual ear tags to electronic readers, and offers considerations for producers when planning their ID systems. Identification is, is the simplest tool that a producer has to improve their herd. And with the onset of more animal disease traceability requirements to move cattle, it's important to have an official tag in animals that you think are going to move across state lines down the road. It's certainly important from an information transfer standpoint where you're wanting to share vaccination protocols, performance records, those sorts of things with your customers. Uh, certainly electronic ID or the addition of an electronic ID tag for some operations is becoming very important. And so whether they're using that for data in a grow safe system, for example, in a feed yard for bull performance, or if they're using it for animal health record keeping on their ranch, an electronic device is becoming more and more prevalent in the purebred sector as well as the commercial sector of the beef industry. Visit CustomCattleTags.com to order your identification supplies through the American Angus Association. 
Commercial heifer prices remain strong through the University of Missouri's Show Me Select program, signaling growing demand for quality genetics. During a sale last month at Joplin Regional Stockyards, almost 300 bred heifers averaged just more than $2,200 per head. The sale high was $3,200 per head. According to University of Missouri Extension Beef Specialist Dave Patterson, there's never been a larger price spread for heifers carrying AI-sired calves compared to heifers with bull-sired pregnancies. AI pregnancies brought almost $500 more. Patterson also noted that in a declining cattle market, it's clear that buyers choose to pay more for higher quality heifers. Visit the Show Me Select program online for more information. The deadline to nominate representatives for the American Angus Association's 2016 Annual Convention of Delegates is fast approaching. Signed nomination forms must be received by Friday, June 10th. Active members of the association are asked to nominate one eligible, active life, or regular member who resides in the same state or district and meets the new qualifications for voting members. Candidates should be highly involved in the Angus business, willing to attend the convention and represent their fellow Angus breeders. This year's convention of delegates takes place November 7th in Indianapolis, Indiana. Visit angusconvention.com to learn more. When we return, a look at quality cattle in the Southeast. Then we visit with entertainer Baxter Black, who shares how he got his start as a popular cowboy comedian. Visit angus.media to continue watching this episode of the Angus Report. The Angus Report is brought to you by Merck Animal Health, the makers of Safeguard Cattle Dewormer. Healthy cattle perform better. Add Safeguard, add pounds. Contact your veterinarian or animal health supplier today. Have you discovered self-deworming cattle products? All the benefits of an effective deworming without all the labor, handling, and stress. Discover Safeguard self-deworming cattle products, ask your local animal health provider, or visit safeguardcattle.com for more information. Horn flies cost cattle producers nearly $1 billion a year. They interrupt grazing, cause loss of blood, and impact your bottom line. By incorporating Altacid IGR into your supplement program, you can prevent the emergence of adult horn flies. Altacid IGR will significantly reduce stress on your cattle. For pennies a day, you can control the most costly parasite and increase your profitability. Contact your feed supplier to incorporate Altacid IGR today. Did you know that your checkoff works to safeguard beef's image and reputation? There's lots of noise on the internet, but did you know the checkoff uses the website factsaboutbeef.com to tackle myths? Did you know factsaboutbeef.com also shares stories about beef production? While you're focused on managing your beef business, your checkoff is busy protecting the image of your industry and your end product. Get to know your checkoff at mybeefcheckoff.com. Angus breeders, predictability is now more affordable. Introducing the I-50K from Zoetis, a genomic test that allows you to dig deeper for untapped herd potential. Access genomic information on even more animals for less cost without sacrificing accuracy. I-50K from Zoetis helps you make more informed decisions sooner and better match your females to that perfect sire. To learn more, visit i50k.com. Looking for BRD protection that doesn't affect performance? A solution that has no impact on feed intake and little to no post-treatment side effects? That keeps cattle healthy and on feed without interrupting your day-to-day -day operations? Get it with the Titanium Vaccine Portfolio and experience the added support of our Full Value Beef Partnership. Titanium, a dose of confidence. Learn more at alanco.us slash titanium. At 44 Farms, we believe work starts at sunup and doesn't stop until sundown. We believe in order to live off the land, you have to love and respect it. We believe that cattle aren't just raised, they're nurtured. And we believe when you do things right, with honesty and integrity, well, things like quality and consistency happen naturally. 44 Farms Steaks, responsibly raised all-natural beef. Deads, 
treatment costs, and poor performance, the combined effects of scours can add up to thousands of dollars per year. Protect your bottom line against these critical losses with Scour Boss. It's the only Scours vaccine with the flexibility to administer at PregCheck with broad spectrum protection you won't find anywhere else. Contact your Elanco sales representative or visit scourboss.com to learn more about Scours protection that delivers what others can't. Beef quality is everyone's responsibility, including yours. That's why the checkoff funded Beef Quality Assurance Program is key to your future. BQA empowering people because you can make a difference taking responsibility because it's our job not someone else's working together because product safety and wholesomeness is everyone's business find out more at bqa.org 44 farms are registered angus breeder in central texas we market about 1600 bulls a year uh, the silencer is uh, vital to our operation. The neck bars on the silencer chute are excellent for restraining the bulls for giving shots. Those big bulls get to swing their head around and it's really hard to hold them. And those neck bars work excellent. We've had it for seven years and it's been great the whole time. So at the end of the day, there's less stress and uh, you're happier and the cattle are happier. It just makes for a better work environment. Indiana this fall, the crossroads of America become the crossroads for the cattle business where Angus breeders, commercial cow-calf producers, business professionals, and thought leaders converge during the 2016 Angus Convention. Don't miss your chance to learn, engage, and enjoy during the event that's driving innovation and fueling leadership in the beef business. Join us November 5th through the 7th at the Indianapolis Convention Center for our popular educational sessions, Angus Tours, an expansive trade show, nationally known entertainment, and more. Angus Convention in Indiana. This is is Angus Country. Go to angusconvention.com today.